let's just move to the cloud audit management and now this is the field actually where i wanted to hear from you as well you know, from your experience so this is where you know your insight would have been useful so i hope you can still try those things for me as well so where i would be learning a lot of things from you so when we talk about the uh, you know a pass through audit it is a form of compliance inheritance so in this model all or some of the cloud providers infrastructure and services they will undergo the audit to a particular compliance standard and the provider is going to take the responsibility for the cost and maintenance of these certification and these can be passed down to a to to the your consumer now cloud provider what they will do they will be using the top tier audit form in order to give a continuous assurance of the efficacy of its control that have been applied so this time let's say that azure has uh, hire someone to you know uh, let's say kpmg or deloitte or eny to go ahead and do they you know not all maybe some of their services or all of their infrastructure that is going under the you know your audit you know, uh, to a particular compliance standard itself okay they are taking and bearing all the costs and here this is going to be you know they will be choosing a top tier audit firm just to maintain that yes still you know every year they are doing these things or they will be having either a gsb or whatever the policy they have on a basis of that they are just going to give you the continuous assurance that their security control that they have applied they are working properly fine till this point right that is going to be in there second the cert you know they certify the provider is compliant okay so kpmg deloitte they will be you know certifying that provider is compliant but it is still the customer's responsibility customer is the one who will be building the compliant compliant service and application on top of the platform in order to assure the compliance that is necessary for their customer now let's say adarsh open a particular startup and it is using the uh, aws and gcp so both of them has done their you know all the audits and everything they are giving you report you are trusting them now as a customer it is your responsibility that infrastructure they are that you are building on the top of it that is going to be the compliant because they have done their part they have their own compliance check and everything and now you are using their service and on the top of it you are going to architect something you are going to design an infrastructure this will be your particular responsibility that it is particular compliant now cloud consumer is ultimately responsible and accountable for any service that they build on the cloud service providers platform okay using their services so whatever you are doing you are the responsible one over here now the primary assurance and trust practices they include two things attestation and certification now when we are talking about the attestation it is de designed by your american institute of certified public accountant i think it is something like uh, american institute of certified public accountant right so yeah if i'm right so you know this is designed and created by the you know ai cpa which is american institute of certified public accountant so where what they are doing here they made the standard and define the requirements that how you will perform and report okay so what their first thing that you need to understand they are defining they made these standards and they are maintaining so they are going to define the requirement they are going to define the requirement that how you will perform and report the any exam let's say that you want to do the a particular you know uh, regarding a particular regulation okay so you want to do the examine review or you know if uh, uh, examine or review these things a particular regulation over there so what aipc cpa is doing that they made the standard and define the requirement that how you will perform and report examination review and agreed upon procedure and engagement so 
that report that you will be giving that is going to help practitioner to report on the subject matter to the you know, their financial statements okay for example the you know, entities compliance with the laws and regulation and the effectiveness of entities control over the security of a system fairness of presentation of a statement say let's say you know greenhouse emission you just want to check out that you know how the greenhouse emission is done so you know you they are maintaining the standard that what is standard how you should be reviewing how you should be examining all that kind of a thing and this will be you know you will be going ahead and you'll be following this thing that how the examination should be you know engagement you know you follow all the rules of engagement and you know it will be helping the practitioner to report on the subject matter that you know other than the other than your financial report that how things are actually there that is the attestation now certification is typically done by the your international organization for standard iso right okay now while they maintain the requirement okay but iso do they maintain the requirement process and standard but they don't actually certify you know but they, they don't actually certify but they give the tools for certification so organization they could have a product you know any organization they could have their own product or they can be using a product or service that meet the expectation of your customer of a particular industry right you can have a product so they are having the requirement process standard they have the final thing they are giving you tool now you have the product that is you know going to be for you know your customer for my specific industry then the certification can become a mean by which the that process or that product is going to be measured that how well secure that product is or what you are you know following are you iso certified and all that kind of a thing so the certification this time become the a way by which the process or your product is going to be measured over here right 